Hello, hello, hello. Let's do some prog news. Needs a theme tune, doesn't it? We need a theme tune. Prog news, prog news. Designed not to confuse. This isn't for reviews. This is prog news. That's the theme. I just made it up. Um, yeah, we got. Well, I did do this on the live stream, and it all went wrong. So we're going to do it again. Oh, great, I get to repeat myself. I'm so happy. Let's pretend that we're all having fun, shall we? <sighs> anyway, I've actually this is expanded. There's more prog news because there was one thing I actually forgot because everything went wrong. Um, I got a bit, I got a little bit banjaxed. So um, there are three bits of prog news for you. We'll start with be be still your beating heart, for it is. The 30th anniversary of Yes's uh, talk album. And everyone just looks perplexed. Why? Yeah, and you're going to be really pleased because they're doing a box set which has got four CDs. All right, there you go. That's what it's going to look like. Four CDs. Yeah. It's funny because in the write up for this, they were saying here um, it's like kind of a forgotten Yes album and it was really hard to get hold of back in the day. And I chuckled to myself because I bought my copy in fucking Woolworths and there were hundreds of copies on the shelves and no matter where you went, this record was there. Um, but yeah, I digress. So it's a four CD deluxe box set edition. There's also going to be a, a vinyl pressing so you can get that. Uh, you've got the original album on the first CD. The second CD is the talk versions, which has got the various different edits. You've got the call-in special version, call-in single edit and radio edit, uh, a Trevor Rabin in untitled instrumental, ooh, Endless Dream demo, Where Will You Be instrumental, Walls instrumental, Endless Dream excerpt instrumental. So you got that. Um, and then there's a live, um, a live album over the remaining two CDs. Live at Canandaigua in New York on the 19th of June 1994. And it features I'm Waiting, the calling Rhythm of Love, Hearts, Real Love, Changes, Heart of the Sunrise, Roundabout, Cinema, City of Love, Make It Easy, Owner of a Lonely Heart, Trevor Rubin, Piano Solo, and you and I. I've seen all the people, Walls, and Endless Dream. Um, so yeah, you can... Uh, you can get that. You can get. It's gonna. It's gonna be great. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be. It's gonna be fantastic. Um, so yeah, you can get the 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 double vinyl. It comes in a white double vinyl. Is gonna be thirty three quid, and the four disc box set will set you back fifty three pounds in the UK. Uh, prices may vary where you are. I don't know where you live, so I can't give you the prices, can I? Investigate. You know, be be inquisitive. So yeah, that's that's one piece. Now we're going to do the second two pieces. Now we hopefully you're not hearing this. As I as I as I often mention, I don't live here on my own because I'm not a proper YouTuber. I'm actually a human being who actually lives with other people and they make noises. So that's why I have noise uh, reduction on my audio in the desperate attempt to fade out their existence. So you can't hear them existing whilst I exist. Because waiting for silence in a block of flats like this is like waiting for, well, the movement of the glaciers. Anyway, two more bits of news. This time, Genesis. Well, kind of Genesis related. It's Genesis um, Lumni. Genesis. I didn't get this right last night. Genesis is Lumni. It don't work. The Alumni of Genesis? Now that sounds clunky too. I've got it. Ex members of Genesis. There you go. Don't try and be clever. It doesn't it doesn't it doesn't suit you. It doesn't suit you. First one up is everyone's favourite. Baldy in, in Genesis. What's that? Phil Collins? No. Peter Gabriel. Everyone loves Peter Gabriel. He he doesn't have to sit down anymore. He can he can still move around. You know, the other guy, we don't talk about Phil Collins anymore and his bad hygiene, you know. Good news. He's going four K. Yeah, Peter Gabriel is going four K because on May the tenth Oh, did I do the, the release date of that, that talk thing? I don't think I did. 
I think that's coming out in May as well. Let me have a look. When is it? It is... Uh, when does it say? Does it say? Yeah, May. 24th of May. There's a lot happening in May. So yeah, I nearly forgot. But on the 10th of May, you've got Peter Gabriel back to front live in London on 4K UHD. Which is interesting, I suppose. Um, yeah, this has already been out. This is like it's ten years. Can you believe it? it's ten years since the original like DVD Blu-ray came out? Um, this is from his 2013 um, Back to Front tour when he did the Sun album. It's pretty. It's a pretty good gig actually. It's I quite, I quite like it. But yeah, we're going to get it in 4K Ultra HDs, all the HDs, right in your eye holes. You you you're just you're going to be completely overwhelmed by it um, though they did swizz on the bonus feature the bonus feature which is called the visual approach uh, which I think is on the original is it's just in standard HD but that will set you back um, about 30 I think it's about 30 quid 27.99 30 quid ish and that is out on the 10th of May Ooh, that's good isn't it so you're going you're going, you're going 4k I reckon now I'm surprised they didn't do the live in Athens ones as well. Do it as a double pack. That would have been nice because that was done on film and that could be you know, upscaled. It doesn't need to be upscaled. They could just do a 4K transfer you know, scan of it. And so, yeah, so 4K, you'd be able to see every blemish and open pore and, and lonely hair follicle as Gabriel bounds around the stage, thrusting his groin into the face of the of the appreciative audience as he goes through his sledgehammer routine. Oh, Pete, don't do that. Not not now. It wasn't sexy when you were young. Um, so yeah. But finally, finally, we've got another another Gen Genesis alumni. Kind of worked that way. That way, it almost worked. And this one is is Genesis. Everyone's favourite Genesis guitarist. Not Mike Rutherford. No. Steve Hackett, no. Andy Phillips, Andy Phillips. He's got an album coming out, 31st of May. So May's a pretty busy month, pretty busy month. And he's got, and we, we get to look at his, his private parts and pieces again with private parts and pieces 12. Now it's not my fault that the, the, the the resolution of this is so poor. This is it's released on Cherry Red slash Esoteric Records. Um, it's their fault that the the, the low res album artwork. I mean, it's uh, it's not very not very inspiring. I must admit, you know, isn't isn't Pete Cross available? Um, but yeah, so we've got some more some more lovely noodlings uh, from Mister Anthony Phillips Esquire. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar. His private parts and pieces. He kind of like the offcuts, bits and bobs he's flinged in his tape box that he likes to put together. Disparate bits and pieces that are, you know that he thinks he can make a, make an album of. I'm a big fan of the the early stuff, but as, as years have gone by, it's gone. It's got a bit you know a bit bland, but you know it's uh, basically 23 new tracks from Anthony Phillips. So that's going to be good. It's 12.99. That's reasonable because it's a CD. And um, yeah, we can. It's just scrolling. You can look at the track listing. There you go. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of tracks there for you to enjoy. And I quote: "It quotes. It, it says, um, Andy Phillips describes the Golden Era as a traditional private parts and pieces album of old, a collection of pieces of disparate background, hopefully constituting a cohesive whole." So we get to look at Andy Phillips' cohesive hull. Are you brave enough to probe Andy Phillips' cohesive hull? I don't know, but I will be going in. I'll have a listen because it's been a long time and anything new from Andy Phillips is worth checking out, even if it's a load of old guff. I'm sure it won't be. I'm sure it'll be fine. But not as interesting as those early ones. Because they were kind of some of those are quite experimental, and I quite like that. Um, so yeah, that that is a big dollop, a steaming dollop of prog news for you. There you go. Sorry, there's no Pink Floyd. 
I could make something up about Pink Floyd, couldn't I? Um, no, I'm not. I'm not, not going to do that for clicks. I could do. For, I'm not even doing this. For, I don't even know why I'm doing this. It's only because it all went wrong last night. It all went wrong. So here we are. Anyway, thank you for watching. My name's been Darren Locke, and I've been talking about some prog news for you because why not? It's better than. It's better than I don't know. Everything else I do. <laughs> Why do I even bother with YouTube anymore? I don't know. Anyway, thanks it. That's it. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I've got to remember where I am. I'm prog on. <laughs>